My name is Glenn Campbell. These are my kids. I'll let them introduce themselves. I'm Aretha Campbell. And I'm Joshua Campbell. I also have uh, two more and a wife who couldn't make it here today. But we've been going to the well um, since 2019, right before the COVID-19 pandemic. And then the uh, pandemic happened. Everybody was online. And then we came back in 2020. So I've been here and loving it ever since. One thing I do want to share is just how my wife got to go on the missions trip to Ukraine. And although we didn't go with her, we were a part of the training, like in preparation for that. And then the training that was done after that. And I really saw in her and it instilled in us this kind of passion for, for missions, like not just missions abroad, but missions um, locally. And uh, out of that, shortly after that, um, you know, my wife talked to me and she's like, hey, I want to start a Bible study um, in our home to kind of reach out to people. And actually not a Bible study, but just a Bible reading. So initially the plan was just to read the Bible because a lot of people don't and a lot of people don't know anything about the Bible. So we invited neighbors, coworkers, classmates to come and uh, read with us. And it didn't take long before people started asking questions. So now we read the Bible um, and then the last half hour we do have discussions. But it's been, it's been wonderful to see how God has worked. One couple in particular never really read the Bible, um, started out saying, you know, why did God do this? And then later it turned into why did the people do this man god has been so merciful with these people so i just praise god for um for this and and for the well that has been you know a seed for all of us i've been very content going to the well it inspired a lot of community fellowship and i'm glad that we were able to host every sunday well not that glad because it's, <laughs> it's a lot but I'm happy that God gave us the strength and courage to be able to come to this church and have this church at our house. Because of the well, we've been given all these opportunities to talk with the people there and connect with them. And we uh, grow closer to God, both in church and at home, because in our small group, um, I can really feel that we're all bonding there through the well for God. I'm looking forward to like the first wedding in this church. Um, I think, you know, things like that kind of bring the community together. And it's just nice to, you know, have that connection with the community because it's like, oh, wow, that's the church I got married in. Or that's the church my daughter got married in. And then the, the other thing for me is just uh, having a building where we can uh, do more outreach in the community. On the drive over here, I was thinking about, you know, hell, if we wanted to do like um, a food bank or something like that uh, for, the, for the community, we have a place now. And, you know, as we all know, like in this area, like having a place is not easy sometimes. I don't think anyone's getting married anytime soon, <laughs> but it would be exciting to see that in the church as well. I just like to see the church expand, like being where we are now. It's really cool to find new areas that our church expands to. I'd like to see more of my friends find God and come to my own church and home here. Because as of lately, I've had friends come over and stay at our, um, our small group. So I'm hoping that they can even come to the well here.